Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I have a couple of bookish packages to open for you today. So we're going to start with the Book of the Month Club box. I decided recently that I was going to really try and not get the brand new YA releases through them because lately it seems like I've had a book come through book of the month because I picked the YA one and then it came in another subscription box and so we're just yeah we're trying to avoid doubles I guess um, so I picked out my book for the month and then um, because I have been a member for so m certain amount of time there's like a message saying you get a free book so you can pick from these ones and so I picked one and then I also did an add-on thing because I'm me so there should be three books in this box for us to take a look at. All right, so the first one is my official pick for the book of the month, Outlawed by Anna North. This is an adult book set in 1894, and it is a feminist Western story, and that's about all that I know about it. Um, our main character is 17-year-old Ada. She um, is on the day of her wedding thinking life looks pretty good. She loves her husband. She loves working as an apprentice to her mother, a respected midwife. But after a year of marriage and no pregnancy in a town where barren women are routinely hanged as witches, her survival depends on leaving behind everything she knows. So she joins up with the notorious Hole in the Wall gang, a band of outlaws led by a preacher turned robber known to all as the Kid. Um, charismatic, grandiose, and mercurial, the kid is determined to create a safe haven for outcast women. But to make this dream a reality, the gang hatches a treacherous plan that may get them all killed, and Ada must decide whether she's willing to risk her life for the possibility of a new kind of future for them all. Yeah, count me in. I live in a western state. I live in Wyoming, the cowboy state. Um, and... I've always, always loved to go to Western story. I have to be in the right mood for it, but this with like the little feminist twist is like f sounding very intriguing to me. So I am definitely interested in picking this up pretty soon. The book that I chose for my freebie is Anxious People by Friedrich Bachmann. He wrote A Man Called Uva, which I read. Um, a friend of mine said, you need to read this book and she lent me her copy. I didn't love it. I think mostly because so many sad things happened in the book, and I was in a weird headspace during that time, but the writing was good, I can tell you that much. Um, but this one, uh, so same author, this is about a bank robber, and I think it's something to do with the Stockholm Syndrome story. Maybe I'm completely like losing it and thinking of a different book. Give me a second and I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I think where I was getting the Stockholm thing is that the author's from Sweden, where Stockholm is. Um, and we have a, a robbery situation and some hostages. But it's not like that official story. Did I watch a movie based on that once? Anyway, um, so this is about a bank robbery and there is a hostage situation. But the group of hostages, they're like the worst group of hostages because they're in like weird situations themselves. There's a couple that hunt down fixer-uppers, but they have a horrible marriage that can't be fixer upper um, that's not a word. Um, we have, let's see, one of the characters is a young couple who are about to have their first child but can't seem to agree on anything from where they want to live to how they met in the first place. An 87-year-old woman who has lived long enough to not be afraid of someone waving a gun in her face. That would be my grandmother. She is 87 and she, she's like, go ahead. I don't care. I'm not scared of you. Like, I don't know that she's ever like face to face with a gun, but she is not scared of anything. Hmm. Um, we've got a real estate agent, a mystery man who's locked himself in the apartment's only bathroom. And uh, yeah, so basically it says they're the worst group of hostages in the world. Um, and it's a real estate showing of an apartment house and the bank robber who's failed the bank robbery bursts in and takes them all hostage. So that's what's happening. This one is another one I'm going to have to be in the right kind of mood to sit down and read, um, but also, like, it sounds interesting for sure. The add-on I picked is one that I've been kind of, like, hemming and hawing. Do I want to read this book? Do I not want to read this book? 
and I've had students asking about it, so I was like, okay, I can get it on a good deal from Book of the Month, so I'm going to grab it. And that is Ready Player Two by Ernest Cline, which is a sequel to Ready Player One, which I love dearly. These situations always make me nervous. I'm like, is the second book going to be garbage, or is it going to be as good? Maybe it's even going to be better. I don't know. But it makes me nervous, so... We'll see. My poor copy of Ready Player One. So many kids have checked it out, and it's just beat to heck. I needed to get a new copy of that one, too. <sighs> Someday. Okay. So those are the items that came in my Book of the Month box. My other package came from an Etsy shop, and you may have seen my previous unboxing of some Etsy packages. The same day that I ordered those, I ordered this. Um, and this is... Oh, I forget the name of the shop. It doesn't say on the outside, so I'm going to have to look on the um, slip if there's a packing slip in here but this is it's kind of a blind date with the book but the um, owner of the shop like paints on the book for you so you have like a one-of-a-kind artist creation on the book which sounds amazing to me all right can I get the wrapping off of this is the question Alright, so I'm going to put this face down so I can't see the artwork. It, um, it was covered up by this packing slip, so I've turned the book over. Um, XOX Handmade Gifts is the name of the shop, and I will link it in the space below so you can um, look up her information if you so desire. So the item itself is only $10, and then I had to pay... Um, 825 shipping so for a hardcover book that's hand painted and it is a YA book I don't know what book it is the the spine is covered up with tape here too so we'll find that out in a minute are we ready to see what it is let's look together oh that's pretty little fruits okay I'm gonna have to read through the the Square Root of Summer is the title. I don't know about this book. Oh, they stuck a bookmark in here. That's cute. It's a fun little touch to include. <laughs> so I just opened up to the first page. <laughs> this is the opening line of the book. My underwear is in the apple tree. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, how fun. Okay, so there is a stamp in here from a library. Um, so obviously the, this person gets older books from the library. I don't blame them. I'm totally cool with that. I am going to take a minute to look up the actual um, plot of this book so I can tell a little bit about the story. And uh, we'll go from there. So give me one minute to look that up. Okay, so here's what I've learned. The Square Root of Summer is by Harriet Reuter Hapgood. It has a 3.40 rating on Goodreads out of... 3,493 ratings. 3.4 is a pretty decent number. It doesn't make me think, oh, I'm going to fall in love with this. Like, it's going to be amazing. But 3.4 is not bad. Um, and really, I bought it for the art anyway, so we're good. But uh, I'll read you the synopsis of the book. It says, Gaudy H. Oppenheimer is losing time. Literally. When the fabric of the universe around her seaside town begins to fray, she's hurtled through wormholes to her past. To last summer when her grandfather Gray died. To the afternoon she fell in love with Jason, who wouldn't even hold her hand at the funeral. You rude boy. To the day her best friend Thomas moved away and left her behind with a scar on her hand and a black hole in her memory. What is going on with these boys? Although Gray is still gone, Jason and Thomas are back and Gaudy's past, present, and future are about to collide and someone's heart is about to be broken. With time travel, quantum physics, and sweeping romance, The Square Root of Summer is an exponentially enthralling story about love, loss, and trying to figure it all out. From stunning w debut YA voice Harriet Reuter Hapgood. Okay, so now I want to know if she's got other books out because I haven't looked yet to see what year this came out. But I want to see if this author has other books out. Oh, maybe if Goodreads search bar didn't change the spelling of the thing I typed in, that would be nice. Okay, so she does have a few other books. There's How to Be Luminous, 
Last Christmas and Unlocked the Christmas Collection. So that's that last one's by her and a couple of other authors. Um, okay. All right, so has anyone out there read The Square Root of Summer? If so, let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Um, either way, I've got a really lovely, like, hand-painted book here. And being a teacher, like, Apple, stereotypical, like, teacher symbol, right? This is good for me. Um, I just had a moment of panic where I was like, oh, is the microphone turned on on my camera? Thank goodness it's on. <laughs> I've done that so many times recently. All right, so we've got these two packages. Um... I did get one other thing from Amazon in the mail, but that's kind of in the works building up for like a longer projects I'm going to do. So I'm going to like not show that particular package today, but um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's um, going to be the weekend when this originally posts. So if you're seeing it when it first comes out, happy weekend. I hope you're doing something fun or some self-care or something. And I'll wish you all a wonderful and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.